Guys, oh, this is so long. What's up, the fam? It's your girl, Kayla Ray, and I'm back with you guys with another lit ass video. If you are not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and make sure you hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up if you like videos like this. Make sure your notification bell is turned on because, guys, now that this company is launched, basically, I'm back at YouTube. So, in today's video, I will be sharing my experience and my process on how I went from, oh, I want to start a company to it turning into a lash business to it launching this month on my birthday and us starting making profit off this company. And then giving you guys like tips and tricks if you guys are trying to start your own business, whether it's a lash company, a hair company, a t-shirt company, a shoe company, I'm here to help you guys because uh, we need to be young entrepreneurs. If you guys did not know already, I started my own lash company and it is called no other than Kayla Ray Lashes. So why did I start my own lash company, I guess? So if you guys have been around long enough, you guys saw that I did story time that I quit my lash job. If you guys have not been around that long, just click that card and go check out that video so you know what I'm talking about. But even before I started working with United Airlines, I was just kind of like, I'm tired of working for people. Like, I just need to figure out what's next for me. Once I quit working at United Airlines, I was like, oh, bro, it's full throttle time. Like, focusing on your businesses and let's just get it popping. So I started my own company. I chose lashes because when people look at me, they always talk about my eyes or my lashes. Like, it's just weird. So I just was like, yo, let me do a lash company. Step one was I found a vendor, pretty much. So I found a vendor who I would be buying and creating and designing my lashes with. And then after that, I created a logo. So I personally, didn't create my logo. My friend J-Rock, who does photography and videography, he created my logo for me. Um, if you want to work with him or anything like that, his Instagram will be in the description box. In regards to my company, I did everything myself besides the logo and the photo shoot. Step three was probably the longest process of it all because it was the designing aspect of it. So picking and designing the lashes, um, picking and designing the packages, um, designing my banners, designing my business cards, designing my website, designing the promo videos, the social media flyers. So literally the designing aspect of it was probably the longest for me. So once you get the design aspect of how you want your company to look, it's pretty much a green light from there because the packaging and the branding is the most important part of any business. So I made my website through Wix, so it's just Wix.com, and then you start designing your website, and then you need to pay for a, pay for a premium account. Um, so I made my website through Wix. I bought my domain name through Wix for a whole year. When you buy the premium account, and if you buy it for a year, your domain is there for the whole year. So you just renew every year. My premium account through Wix was like $360 a year. So I think the website has been ready probably for a while. I just haven't really seen it yet because the company is not launched yet. So I designed my entire website through Wix. Step five was promoters. Made the social media accounts for the lash company. And then I started finding promoters. Post a picture on Instagram and then have them DM me. I sent them a questionnaire like, how old are you? Where are you located? How many, um, how many of your followers do you think would be attracted to buy my lashes? And I just asked those questions to kind of get like, to know, to know, to know the demographics. So once I found my promoters and I finalized my promoter, created step six, which is the PR boxes. And I created the PR boxes and I sent them out. Um, I'll have pictures and videos, of course, as well, showing you the PR boxes. After five and six, finding the promoters and sending the PR boxes off, I was like, woo, woo. Yes, I can breathe. Let me go turn up real quick. That's literally how I was because Steps one through six, so time consuming and so much legwork for me since I'm doing it all by myself. So step seven was photo shoot, which is branding. Since then, I've already been selling lashes.
The first style that I'm showing you is a style called Bougie. And I love Bougie because they are just, like, I think these are the most natural um, because how they're shorter in the front and then longer in the back. I feel like these are so flirty. And I love these, actually. So here's what number 23 look like. And I just love them. They're so full, but natural and not too wispy. I love these so much. These probably are my favorite, but shh, you didn't hear it from me. But I love these. They're so full, so fun. Like, you cannot go wrong. These are called high maintenance. These are so long and full and wispy. So these are high maintenance and what high maintenance look like. Super, super cute. These are spoiled and they are just what it is. Like I named these perfectly. Look at them. What? You cannot tell me that she like what? These are after dark. These are probably the most dramatic lashes I have right now. These are the ones you would want to put on when you're going to a club, going to an event. These are those lashes, guys. Look at those. What? Look at those. These are those lashes. Popping are so popping. They're so dramatic. If you can tell, like, with this. So, yeah, these are popping, and I love these so much. These are so This is what my packaging looks like. Um, so how I achieve this metallic gold um, print is it's a thing called hot press at the factory that they use to make it have the metallic reflective gold color. So on the front it just says Kayla Ray Lashes and I picked this color or picked this font on the front because I want everything to look like my personal touch and this looks like my handwriting so I was like, when I saw this, it, I literally was like scrolling through fonts for hours. And I was like, what the heck? And then I found this one and was like, perfect. So my boxes are ma magnetic boxes. So listen. So I have magnetic boxes. Um, but like I said, it's all white. And the only thing gold is the name and then what's on the back. So on the front... It just has the Kayla Ray Lash name on it with that hot fire print to get that metallic reflective gold. On the back, same print, different font. This is just more like a business font. So it's just my website and then my social media at names with the social media icons right here as well. So my box itself is really just sleek and cute and I did it this way just so it looks all put together. And then of course inside is just like a clear, or a gold background and then I would just put the clear tray of the lash in here but guys I think the most thing that I just want to stress to you is just make sure that you are doing every single thing that you need to do before your business launches before your company launches because then you won't have to play catch up so things I haven't touched yet are like the mailing and shipping process um, your business licenses Stuff like that, your tax I your tax ID number, but those are really like things I'm not gonna touch on because all those vary depending on the business that you're gonna start. Like tomorrow's upload will be the behind the scenes video of my photo shoot. I'm super excited. And then on my birthday, November 29th this month, I will be doing a giveaway of my lashes. So that is it for this video. You already know what the deal is. It's K Gang. I love you guys so much. Mm -hmm.